So the next muscle group we're going to look at is the deltoid. Now we know the anterior deltoid comes off the clavicle here, goes to the deltoid tuberosity, and then the intermediate or the middle fibers of the deltoid are coming off the acromion down to the deltoid tuberosity, and then the posterior fibers are coming off that spine of the scapula. It's actually the same points that the traps insert onto is where the deltoids originate off of. To isolate each one of these three groups, we'll bring her arm up. And now if we want to do the deltoid, we know it's primarily, obviously, the anterior fibers we're going to support, actually not too far out on this shoulder, support mid-spine with my supporting hand, and I'm trying to pull her humerus back towards me. And you can see the contraction of the anterior fibers right here. So we slowly load in. Again, the pec's firing a little bit as well. The middle fibers, arm's in the same position, and I'm just going to go straight down with my force. And same thing with the support. We can even go same side with the support hand. Good, and again, you're seeing the fibers contract right there. For the posterior fibers, we'll do a little bit of internal rotation because it's going to sort of be an up and back motion that I'm going to be getting her to do. And then we slowly load in to fire the posterior deltoid. Let's do it from this position now. We'll start with the, uh, the anterior fibers. So again, we'll support here and it's going to be bringing her arm forward. So I'm going to try to push the humerus back. Again, you can see the contraction of it right there. For the middle fibers, I'm going to push straight down is going to be all through here and then for the posterior it's kind of this is the motion for her where it kind of goes from here all the way up and back so I'll support here and then lock right there and you can see all the fiber contraction through there and always loading in slow and coming off slow so that's to get all three divisions of the deltoid muscle we're gonna go through a supine variation for all the uh, divisions of the deltoid muscle so what we'll do is we'll take the patient's arm up to 90 degrees here and I'm just going to support directly actually over top of the deltoid fibers because then when I test each specific segment, I'll be able to feel contraction beneath my hand. So let's do the anterior division first and that would be pushing the humerus down into the table. So you slowly load in and I can feel those anterior fibers and you can see them quite nicely here. Relax. And now for the intermediate or medial deltoid, again that's going to be probably the midpoint of my fingers. I'm going to try and push your elbow down the table. And again, I can just feel that muscle contract right up underneath my fingers and relax. And then for the final one, the posterior, I'm going to be lifting the humerus up off the table. Let me just get my fingers behind there, relax down, and hold nice and strong. Don't let me move your arm. And I can feel the contraction right up on my fingertips of the posterior deltoid. Uh, another variation for the, uh, the middle deltoid. This isn't the most strong position to do a muscle test from because we want to get that elbow coming down the table. So sometimes if you just switch your grip, into more of a pulling motion. Again, I'm gonna try and move your elbow down the table. Now I can just lean my entire body weight back and it's a tiny bit of force needed for my upper body. It mostly comes from my lower body. Okay.